in this video we will be performing operations and functions but uh, this time we'll start with the first two operations namely addition and subtraction now just like in the previous videos we'll, I'd like to make it very simple as simple as possible and I hope that you'll be able to make generalizations I hope that you'll be able to generalize the ideas that will be presented here all right so let's take for example that we have two functions right so our first function is f so f of x is x squared plus one our second function is g of x equals uh, say 2x plus one the question is find f plus g of x and f minus g of x now the thing is that we've seen f of x a million times right? same with g of x but f plus g and f minus g we've never seen it before this is the first time that we've seen it or at least to some of you so what is f plus g and what is f minus g okay the thing is functions are just like numbers uh, that you can make operations on so if you have two functions you can actually perform operations uh, between them just like what we do with numbers okay so when you add two numbers you'll get another number right say five plus two is seven same with functions if you want to add two functions you'll get a new function the question is the question is what is that function so if you add if you add two functions say f and g the resulting function is f plus g if you subtract g from f the resulting function would be f minus g so that's what we're going to do today we're going to find f plus g and f minus g all right so as i've said as i've said f plus g so f plus g of x is just equal to f of x plus g of x and so we'll just simply make substitutions we know what f of x is f of x is 2x plus 1 i mean x squared plus 1 so that will be x squared plus 1 let's just put a parenthesis in here and then g of x is g of x is 2x plus 1 right and so we'll just simplify so we'll have x squared plus 1 plus 2x plus 1 that gives us x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 1 is plus 2 so that is f plus g of x you just simply add the two functions all right and same goes with f minus g so f minus g of x is equal to is equal to f of x minus minus g of x right so that is so what is f of x again f of x is x squared plus one and g of x is 2x plus one so that's 2x plus one it's important that we'll put them inside parentheses because you know especially when you subtract two quantities you might make mistakes if you don't put parentheses in the quantities okay so that will be minus i mean equals so you have x squared plus one just copy that and then you have to distribute the negative to both these values right okay so you have to distribute the negative you apply the distributive property so that will be minus 2x and then minus 1 and that will give you x squared plus 1 and minus 1 cancel each other out and you're left with minus 2x and that will be f minus g of x so that's how you perform the addition and subtraction 
on functions. See you in the next video.